Alright, coming up on the first Goodwill, this is one of my favorite ones. It's hit and miss, but most of the time, it actually has some good stuff. Saw this Sidewinder drum, one of these car launcher things, Nitro, strong arm, sun faded, nothing special. A Maverick, pretty good shape, but I didn't need it. Some minigun thing, looks like a Ryan's World, but I'm not sure, correct me if you know who makes that one. Bag of toys, and whoa, look at that. Don't do that. I passed up a Guardian one time and I will not do it again. I found one more Nitro Blaster. I had to put the Lord's Work mag back in it because they were separate, but I left it on the shelf. Didn't need it. Moving on to the next Goodwill. This is actually a, one of my other favorite Goodwills. Generation 2 Super Drum. Haven't seen one of these in complete form, but it's definitely not worth 10 bucks. Ooh, is it a Hera? No, it's not. It's another Helios. Man, I almost got excited. Dart Zone Quadro Blast. I love seeing those. Boomco Rapid Madness Blasters. See these everywhere. Just always missing parts. Don't need them. Brainsaw from Nerf Zombie Strike. Cool gimmicky blaster. Some water gun thing from Super Soaker Slam Fire. Some kind of Turbo Advance Adventure Force version. Another X-Shot Reflex. By the way, you guys can tell the years these are made just by looking under the barrel. It's always cool to see. The newer ones have a more brilliant orange. The older ones have a more dull orange. And yes, I finally found a mega hot shock on thrift. I've been wanting to thrift one of these forever. I finally found it. Put this one aside. This Alpha Strike, I think it's called the Optic QS4 because uh, it's kind of cool. And it's the grippy version. It's not the one that hurts your hand with the plastic. You guys seen this uh, Flip Fury thing from Adventure Force for a while. And still got the turbine thingy. Yep. And it still spins. It's still got the good battery in it. That's pretty awesome. Water guns, water guns, blasters, and these weird semi-mega, I don't know what these things are. Don't want to be things. Looking through this bin. Some more old school X-Shot. Mass produced stuff. This was a crossbow without the limbs. Yeah, I'm considering that QS4, but the hot shot for sure is coming with me. Moving on to the next Goodwill. Check in, see if there's any misplaced items. Nerf Hyperfire 10 from 2005. Yep, that's what that felt like. And that was cool to see, some vintage disruptor. These are almost becoming Mavericks, almost surpassing the strong arms. Painted Maverick, never seen one of these. That's pretty cool. This guy just went all out with the matte paint. It's actually not a bad color. Another hyper fire, doing the Lord's work, putting them together. Get the paired set, whoever is interested in picking those up. Wrapping up the search, and then I saw this Alien Menace Blaster, and I wanted it so bad, but I didn't need it. Moving on to the next Goodwill. And another hot chalk on the same day. I couldn't believe it. At three bucks, however, I'll let the next guy take advantage and get his hot chalk. Then I saw this box with sealed laser blasters, or at least three out of the four. And then I think I found the rest of them just loose. It was a cool, I mean, probably a budget laser blaster set. Some more of these no-name brand uh, mega-looking blasters looking through the shelves this one was pretty anemic on another boom co rapid madness these things are always missing so many parts it's incredible it was black day i would have gotten it for two bucks but like i said what would i do with it i have no parts for it and i'm not gonna go on ebay and spend a fortune just to match the parts that are missing to it going through the rest of the store and i didn't see much to be honest just trying to dig through the plush to see what i found i found this one boom co it looked like one of the halo smgs but again it was missing so many parts and i hate the fact that when i do find these they're always missing so many parts boom co parts are so proprietary and exclusive to these blasters as they are when you find one you literally need to have all the parts and some darts if at all possible for it to be any worth in your collection moving on to the next goodwill another one of these turbo advanced things a dominator these are actually pretty cool but again no need for that so moving on and then i saw this the 2005 and latest iteration of the nerf hyperfire stored air tank version i am definitely taking this don't even need to test it whether it's working or not i can fix it never have found one so i definitely wanted to take that with me some extra accessories busby blaster thing crossbow another duminator hiding back there within the plush and yeah i was definitely gonna check out and go to the next goodwill Making a quick stop at a Target, however. And then I saw this. Uh, apparently these are only sold online, but somebody had bought them and returned them and they were on clearance. They're normally almost $40. They only wanted 25 bucks. This is the latest semi-auto motorized rival blaster. And it's the P90 machine gun style and it's internal. I definitely set those aside, was gonna think about them, but most likely I was gonna end up taking them. Saw this TAC shotgun, the legendary TAC, I believe it's called from Fortnite. Didn't have a price on it, so I was curious. 
on what it was worth. Maybe I got lucky with a secret clearance. Wanted to check it out and I was like, what? Yeah, Target, you can go ahead and keep that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put that right back. Looking through the shelves and whoa, some flip eights hiding. Now I know those are $6 right now on clearance and there was two of them. So I'm like, yeah, you're coming with me and yeah, you're coming with me too. Uh, let's move on to grab a cart. Luckily there was one that was empty nearby. So I dropped those in the cart and then I decided to come back for those chargers. I grabbed both of them, you know I did. Moving on to the next Goodwill and I saw one of these cool older Zombie Strike Dark Tag Blasters. Kind of rare, but I already got one with the scope that I picked up on a local lot. An arms deal like Captain Xavier calls them. Very clean disruptor here. I have like 1800 of them, so. The next person would definitely benefit from grabbing that. Oh, the Cyclone Shock. I really, really love this. This is probably my favorite, if not the number one. Multi-capacity pistol for Mega for me. Saw Praxis over here. Saw Rota Fury. The Rota Fury was kind of rough, I guess. They wanted too much money, though. Some of these Goodwills have weird pricing. They see the bigger guns, and they think that they're worth more. So they charge more for them. Saw a long shot front gun. I never found anything from a long shot at all. Had a black tag on it, and it was black half off. So I figured, you know what? I might put that aside and think about it. I always pick up surge fires if they're like under $3. This one was $3.99, so with the black half off, it was gonna be like two bucks. So I was like, yeah, why not? Sure, I'll take the uh, surge fire. I like those things. I saw a blue Apollo, nothing special there. Left it, no mag or nothing. Left the Roto Fury, but I was definitely gonna take these two. Moving on to another Goodwill. Saw a Retaliator that was not missing the back plate. That was kind of cool to see. No mag, of course. Then I saw a Hyper Fire the new version of course the one that actually shoots fast and i was like you know what this is a really cool blaster the grip is not for anybody i have pretty big hands it might be uncomfortable to hold but i've never found one of these ever and they're like really expensive on ebay so i'm like worst case scenario if i never want to keep it but that belt feeding mechanism is just too cool and i know this one's faster than the regulator so i was like you know what nah i have a drum at home to pair it up with this one i'll go ahead and take it nothing special a maverick and another nitro card disc uh not disc sorry another nitro car launcher left that one i kind of wanted to take this little sentry because i do have like the zenith looking one and the one with the rotating barrel the better one not the zenith but the other one i forgot the name of it right now this one had the two ar i was like not for four dollars though older generation blitzfire i got the new gen ones i love that another jaguar looking looking one of these little villain things from x shot break barrel don't really care for those things at all some laser shot thing uh, laser games i guess and it's pair put them together whoever finds them has a set but nothing else in this store i think that really mattered then i saw a bell's outlet next door i was like you know this bell's i've never been to i might as well check it out it was one of the best decisions ever not only did i see a busby cyclonic which i've never seen new in the box kind of cool to see that at a shelf albeit i don't know if it's worth 20 bucks somebody it is then i saw this accu trooper these things if i'm not mistaken are 2017 they came with the drum mag and everything I'm normally not the kind of person to spend more than 24 bucks for something that's new vintage or new slash vintage or a couple years old, but still new in the box. But you know what? I saw it and I was like, yeah, gonna have, go ahead and take it. And then, you know, if you guys didn't see my off-brand video, this is off-brand. In case you wanted a perfect example, this is off-brand. Then I saw this Air Warriors thing, which was kind of cool. It had like a pump action priming, but it was kind of like the stock. I don't know, too gimmicky for me, but I like that tactical storm though haul review i have some honorable mentions i like to talk about now i do some bin thrifting in between some of these runs i don't like to film it because it gets kind of hectic and crowded in there so i got this cool long range modulus uh, it's part of the long range kit the modulus bipod i got a retaliator stock that i found in there this barrel which i knew the name of the blaster it goes on but right now it's escaping my memory i got a intact beautiful condition long arm i know these are at ross for eight dollars but this was incredible great condition i do have some special love for this i have the desolator so it's always nice to have one of these to go with the desolator of course there was a clean night finder in the bins of course i grabbed it the light and the lens everything works really really well on that one spring fire not in the best condition it's a little bit faded on one side well actually not really it feels like it's been to the beach i gotta clean these up desand it and desalt water it eye on fire i didn't need another one but it was in the bins so this thing was like 20 30 40 cents also in the bins this rebel black 
Blaster, which the name also is escaping my memory right now. This was really, really cool to find. Dark Tag, 10 shooter, I believe. I didn't have one of these before, but I was happy to find it. I found the scope separately in another part of the shelf. Of course, the Guardian crossbow was not gonna leave that behind. Got the Hyper Fire. Did try pumping it, and it does have some issues with air. It doesn't hold any air, so it might have to do some epoxy repairs to the tank or to the bladder or to any of the parts in there that might need it. Very happy to find this hot shock. This one I ended up getting for like 99 cents and it's in perfect condition. Long shot front gun. Now I've already cleaned all this stuff with 70% alcohol. I do recommend you guys that go out thrifting. Just use common sense. When you pick this stuff and bring it home, grab some 70 alcohol, sit down with your girlfriend or with your sibling or a friend that wants to help. I use a microfiber. I just usually spray it down and then I wipe these things. Especially now that, you know, COVID became a thing since 2020. General common sense, relieve everything of the pre-existing germs that were on. I had this surge fire too. This one's in perfect condition. I normally don't pick them up unless they are in perfect condition. Definitely have the hyper fire. Finally pair it with its drum. Of course, you guys saw that AccuTrooper that I picked up. Got the charger, of course. Got two of those and got two of the flip shops. Now, I actually like this flip shop. I know in prior videos I've mentioned that I don't like flip shots, but I do like the 8. The 8 was probably the best one they ever made. I want to mod one. There's not a lot of people that have modded them, and I think it has a lot of potential. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing. I hope to catch you guys on the next Blaster Bargains video.